Hello, Candace Cornelius here, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we're going to continue to talk about joyful and natural learning and how how that's all done. Um, so what I really want to focus on right now in the next several videos is what I call step one of joyful and natural learning and creating that kind of environment in our home. And that is establishing a love of reading. So books are just so powerful. There's so much we can learn through books. Um, and you know, throughout history and throughout the world, people have known the power of a story. And they've been teaching generations after generations of children through stories. And so I really want you to have these meaningful memories with your kids of, you know, snuggling up with a book and learning together. It's a very joyful and natural way to learn um, that will just really stay in your heart and really encourage that in your children. So um, one really awesome way we can do that, encourage a love of learning in our children, is through modeling. We model a love of learning. You know, we live what we want them to do because we will really be the greatest single person of influence in our children's lives, um, especially as homeschoolers are with us all day and we just really teach them through our own example. And so what I would ask you is, do your children see you read? Um, if the answer is no, that is an excellent place to start. Um, let them see you read because when they do, they realize, hey, mom and dad really likes to read. This must be important to them. And it really changes the way they think of books, um, that books aren't something that they have to do, something that's work, something that isn't fun, but rather something enjoyable, something important, something that mom and dad do of their own free will, and perhaps I want to too. Um, so I would encourage you to find books that you enjoy and let them see you read. Um, now if you already are reading, that is awesome. I would ask you how often are you reading? And to try and do that often. Um, and I had to change my mindset on that. Um, I had used to feel like if I sat down and read a book, read a book, that was really selfish of me. But now I realize that me reading a book is really teaching my children. Um, it's not just a selfish activity, but that I am showing them, I'm teaching them through my actions. Um, there is a quote that says, um, or a saying that says, I can't, your actions speak so loudly, I can't hear what you're saying. Um, and our kids really do follow our example. Um, so read to them often and then talk to them about what you're reading and show genuine enthusiasm. Say, hey, check out this great book that I picked up from the library, I'm super excited to read it. Or, hey, guess what I learned today when I was reading, let me share it with you. Isn't this fascinating? Um, and that can really have an impact on how your children grow up and view reading and view books um, and can really encourage a love of reading in your children. Um, another quick thing you can do is if your children uh, have some downtime, they're playing Legos or doing craft or puzzle, you can just pull out your book and start reading out loud. Um, and this shows them, you know, it helps increase their vocabulary, helps them in their language development, they are introduced to new concepts about the world, and most importantly, it really brings home that point that mom and dad really do like reading, um, and that that's a part of their life, and it can become a part of your family culture. Um, and then one final thing I want to talk about in this video today is about reading a variety of books and modeling that for our children. You know, in my home, my husband's go-to books tend to be fantasy and sci-fi, where my go-to books tend to be business and education, more in the non-fiction realm. But we will switch it up. Occasionally my husband will grab some fiction, a non-fiction book, and totally enjoy it and will learn so much and will tell me about it. And I'll grab a fiction book and some sort of classic usually and, and love it. 
And so we want to assure children that we love learning and that we can appreciate a variety of books and that we can learn so much from different kinds of stories and books. Um, so I am so thankful that you joined me on this quick video today and I'm excited to continue to go deeper into this about establishing a love of learning in our children. Uh, so I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.